Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and you're watching my side channel, Side Noob, where we do all sorts of different things. And today we're going to look at a lock related puzzle. I've looked at a few lock related puzzles so far, but none may be as stylish as this. This is a, um, a Huzzle uh, cast padlock, and it's a level one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, five out of six. I, I normally they're out of five, that's why I was counting slowly. So a five, a five out of six level. And I have had a few of these puzzles from before from Huzzle, not one of these, and I do know that they tend to be quite hard. This was lent to me kindly by my friend John, so I didn't have to buy one. But you might be asking, if you like lock puzzles, why haven't you bought one? This is a relatively commonly found one. And my answer is, one, um, you know, they're not massively cheap. Um, and two, this is really silly, by the way. I haven't bought one because it, it can't, it looks a bit like a padlock, but you can't put anything under the shackle um, because the space is too uh, tiny and, and that just annoys me. <laughs> it's, a, it's a worse excuse for not uh, buying one, but I'm very glad it was lent to me. And it's quite a stylish box, I have to say. Very, very nice. And the idea is to go from this uh, padlock shaped puzzle to separating it out. So, um, why I've got a timer? Well, I might have to film this in bursts. I film on a uh, an iPad, which has no expanding memory. And if this took me like two hours to do, then I would <laughs> I'd probably run out of memory in half that time. So I'm going to have to film in bursts, but I'll keep this running. Um, also, I don't have like two hours to spend on this, so I might just give myself um, half an hour or so, see how I'm getting on. And uh, I'll keep the timer running. So when I, uh, you know, do my bursts of filming, then you'll know how far along we are. I don't know if we'll get there. I'm not the world's best puzzle solver, but we'll have a go. Okay, let's have a look at what it actually looks like in person. I This is as far as I've got so far, which is opening it up. And you get some kind of like choking warnings and things. Okay, don't need that. Um, what's this? Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, it's just like a little catalog of all the puzzles. Some are pretty cool. I've got a couple of these. I've got the coaster, that one. That is really hard to put back together. Um, uh, I've got a few bits and bobs. I've got the cast keys too. This, I would recommend that to anybody. It is quite easy, but it is awesome. And some other ones I wouldn't mind getting, um, like this one, cast keyhole, because it's sort of lock related. Although looking at it, it doesn't look very keyholey, does it? Anyway. Um, yeah, they, they clearly do quite a lot of different stuff. And uh, if you like your puzzles, um, I actually would recommend them. Anyway, here it is. And you can see why it's a little bit disappointing if you like padlocks, because it's, it's reminiscent of, but not really padlocky. Now, the question is, do I start the timer at the point where I start undoing it, um, or do I have an explore first? I think, to be fair, I should probably explore it while it's timing. So let's let's start and have a go. Okay. So clearly we've got two parts here. And there's a groove there. Okay. What else can I see? Okay, these slide around. There appears to be a small inner groove on the inside of Let's have a look. Yeah, can you see there's an inner groove there? Uh, there. Which must mean that this interacts with it somehow. But it doesn't seem to be want to slide down. So I assume there's a trick to sort of swapping the positions between the padlock body bits being over here and here. There's a split between these two and they can sort of slide either side. I don't know the significance of that. Um, Oh, actually, maybe. Look, there's a there's a groove that runs here, around, and I can just about make out. Yeah, you can probably see it better on the bottom. You can sort of disengage this part, and that engages the one at the top, and vice versa. So it looks like you might be able to swap the engagement of one side to the other. I wouldn't be surprised if the split here has to sort of align with, um, I don't know how exactly, but you've got, I think if you aligned all of that somehow, that must have some significance that you, you see what I'm trying to do there? That you can, you can 
somehow um, maybe align those grooves like do you know like and say like that for example so you got like an alignment here uh, there's like a shear line and then there's another one here um, let's have a go at that does that do anything no let's turn that one as well get the bottom done no oh hmm okay not sure that what that's done or whether it's supposed to do that but I'm assuming that that's done something because You can better see now that there's a groove here and I've got it slightly disengaged. I'm not sure if that's the right way around. That doesn't feel right, does it? It's come apart somehow, but I don't think it's come apart in the right way. Ah, oh, did it again. Okay. Still don't think that's right though. It doesn't feel right. Feels like, oh uh, yeah, it feels like I'm like this is coming out through the middle somehow, and I don't think that's supposed to slide out like that. Doesn't that doesn't feel right to me? Um, oh, put it through the other way now. Can I turn it? Oh, well that's different. Is that supposed to be right? Or was that the same as it was before? That's just the same as it was before, I think. Isn't it? I don't know. Let's try that then. Let's try it like in that shape instead. Is there a shear line there? There must be something to do with lining these all up. Maybe it's though that way. Oh. Oh. Ah. Is that where we were before though? Yeah, it was. Oh. Oh no, that is weird. Okay. That was unexpected. Hmm. Is that where we swap over sides somehow? Does that make sense? Does that swap over somehow? Ooh. That's so... It sort of rolls over itself. Have I lost it? Have I gone back to where it was before? I'm so confused. I'm trying to get all these uh, bits aligned across like that line. See, if it just sometimes feels like it falls apart along, oh, like that, see, along that line, but I, I can't get it to. Or that way. Is that good or bad? Trying to wiggle it either side. Does that help? How do we have it before? Was it like that? It's so confusing this puzzle. Ah, we got to that place again. Whew. But I don't know what to do once he got there. We got to, I think we were like there, and then go like that. Then what? Like that and across again? 
Have I swapped the size or just gone back to where we were before? Is that any different? I think it is. I think we've got something different. I think that those gaps were both at the top before. Hmm. So maybe we've progressed it. Let's try that trick again then, trying to align stuff. <laughs> that seems to be, isn't like movement, but it isn't really doing a lot. Those don't slide round. Let's try moving those around. Earth. Whew. Um. Uh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's a fluke because quite literally, I had no idea where I was at at any one point in this puzzle, and I have literally no idea how I'd start to put it back together. That, and if I did put it back together, I'd have to take a look at the pictures to decide how it looked before. Um, was there any skill involved in that? Not really. Um, I'd ascertained two things. That there were grooves here and inner grooves there. And somehow um, that they could engage and disengage. That's one thing. I also guessed that they'd be able to, uh, that, that they're pro it's probably this shape because you can swap sides somehow. Um, and I also knew that, maybe it's my, my <laughs> un completely unrelated, but it's clear there's a gap here and gaps there and, and that, that would make a natural point for them to, to shear apart. But I'd love to tell you that I, I, I did that through pure skill but it's just not true that was really just fluking i've got no idea if that's a good time or not um but since i didn't know what i was doing it likely might have taken me four hours to do the, the next time around I, I literally have no idea um, whether i did a good thing or a bad thing but we did get there um so it looks like the difference between these pieces uh, one's got one little nib there and one's got two and I've got literally no idea what that would do I'm looking at the inside of these and they're perfectly smooth grooves on the inside they go all the way around um, let's have a look at that picture where's the picture oh does it give you any clues what it should look like Ah, okay, so it needs to go back, so you have one gap there and one gap there, so it needs to go back something like that. Um, what do I think to this then? Okay, what do I think? So, uh, I fluked and open with little skill, but we did get it open. Uh, it felt tricky, and I really hadn't got any clue what I was doing. It is quite nice. These are made well. They feel good and it does look nice. But I sort of be lying if I said that it was like really pleasurable. The two keys that they do is really pleasurable because even though it's easy, there's something very cool about the mechanics and you can see what you're doing all the way through. This is sort of invisible and all I was trying to do each time was turn it to a one of the uh, shear lines, if you know what I mean, where you align the gaps, either this side or this side of the gap, with uh, this side or this side of this thing and, and wiggle it about a bit, um, which clearly worked. But because it's all internalised, I'm not sure, unless you really studied it 
uh, from the inside saying whether you'd be able to sort of understand its mechanics beyond that. Maybe I'm wrong. Have you actually used one of these puzzles? What do you think? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little confused by it. it. It's a really lovely object and it's an interesting puzzle. But once again, I've managed to solve it. I say solve it. I managed to get it open, but I don't feel I've solved. I don't feel like I've understood it beyond its mechanics um, of, you know, you've got one side and another side, and you engage and disengage this groove, and there's a, a sort of a sheer line to wiggle about. Apart from that, I don't feel I've solved it. You know, uh, do you know what I mean? Very strange, but still, it is kind of cool. And for under twenty pounds, these things. They're not bad actually, and they're a nice little talking piece. Certainly something you can toss to somebody um, if they come round and say, here, have a go at one of those. Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, really interested to know. I do read them all, I reply to as many as I can. If you like this video, then please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate you subscribing. Of course, it really helps the channel out. With one of these, let me know if you'd buy one, and um, I guess I've got to figure out how to put it back together. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna look it up on YouTube. All right, see you all next time.